Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are back on the series Learn ServiceNow from Zero till advance in English version. So with the previous session we have seen how to create users and how to add roles to it. And then we have seen the license concept. If you have not seen that video, you can check the video in the i button and even I will give the link in the description below. So let's get started. In the today's session, we are going to see how to create groups and how to add groups to the users, which is a very important topic. So let me go there. And before going there, I have changed my UI and I have made a small video how to change your UI to next experience UI. So if you have not checked that video, even I will put in the description link, you can go and check that video too. If I click here, just you have to come to the user table, just type users. Everything is same in the previous UI, whatever we are doing on the left navigator part, it is same over here. If you want to make this as a left navigator, you can pin this. So it will be always appear like this. If you don't want to pin, you can leave this. So let me type users. Yes, we are on the user table. And now last class, we have created Ravi Snow. Correct? Yeah. And we have given roles to Ravi Snow. Now, let me tell you an important concept over here that is called group. What is groups? Basically, group is list of all the members or let's say chunk of members staying in a particular packet. Like if I open the packet, I will find five members or six members or 10 members or 100 members. Doesn't matter. So group is a place where users are stored and their rules are stored over there also. So to give you a demo, what I will do is I will create a group and then I will add rule to the group, not to the user directly. Why? I will explain you that. For example, let's assume, let's say there are one, two, three, four, five members, for example. Okay. And these five members belongs to the admin team. So I have to put all these five members in the admin team and I will assign an admin role to that uh, group so that all the rules get inherited from that group to that user. So what ServiceNow says for best practice is, let me open a notepad and write it out for you. So always remember what they are saying is you have to create a group first, then add a member to the group. Okay. And then add a role. So in this case, what is the benefit? Basically, guys, the benefits are, as I mentioned in the, my previous class, each and every rules are license based. So let's say if I'm adding five members and I'm giving only one role to the group, then all those five members will get the roles inherited. So benefit, I will list it down, but let me show you a demo first. So let me create a group, come to the group part, you can click on new to create or just type here groups like this, open this groups. And let me create a new group for you. So on the top right, you will get the new button. This UI is pretty different from the UI, which wherever we have seen, but the concept and the table, the list will remain the same. So don't get hesitated. Let me know in the comment section if you want to make the video on the previous UI or this new UI. I will change according to it. So let's say this is, let's say admin team. Okay. And let's say I am the manager of my admin team. So I am system admin. Yeah, and you can put a description. This group contains admin team members. Okay, and if group has an email, let's say admin at the rate gmail.com. So if this group receive an email, whoever the member of this group will receive the email as well. So what you have to do is once you do this, right click and save it. You can right click on the top and save it. So after that, you will find the options, role, group members, see role, group members, groups, subscriptions. So what we have to do, second step, add member to the group. So let me add a member. How to add a member? You can click create new members by using the new button or you can click on edit button to add new members. So click on edit. And now let me search members. So what member I want? I want Aditya. Okay, and I want now 
Ravi, God of, which is my own name. Okay. And let me add one more user, for example, service account. That's fine. So let me add these three users in a group. Just add it from left hand side to the right hand side. We have already discussed this, how to add it in the previous session in the list part. Now you will notice, just refresh the page, the group members are assigned. See this Ravi, Anitya and service account. This users is already having the group. Now if I go to this users, Ravi, Anitya and service account, you will notice the groups is automatically added. See group 1, admin team. Over here, Anitya, group 1, admin team. Service account, group 1, admin team and there is one more admin. That's fine. This is the group which I have created. So what I will do is, from my side, I will remove the rule from this member. Let me remove the rule so that you will not, not get confused. Saving it. Okay. Rules are removed. Only groups are added. Now, what you have to do is, you have to add rule to the group. See, here I am not adding rule to the user. So, I am adding a single rule to the group and you will notice that rule will be inherited by all the members. So, let me show you if I click on edit and add a rule. So, Let's add M incident admin. Okay, incident manager, no problem. Saving it. So here, what will happen? Just refresh the page. So here, you can click here to refresh also or right click, refresh the list. You can do anything is fine. See, incident manager rule is added on the group with the group members of these three. Now let's go back to Ravi's space, refresh it, refresh Anitya and refresh service account. What you will notice, the group, the rules are automatically added. See, the rules are automatically added, 36, 36. And here maybe there are more rules because there are another group also. The rules are added to all these members. So, there is a concept here. We have saved the license cost for two members. So, for example, if I add a rule individually to each and every member, so three rules were used separately. But here only one rule is added and here what I did, I saved the license cost. Correct. Only one rule, only one rule is added, added and all those members who are part of all those members, who are part of group, got the rule. So this concept is called creation of group, adding member to the group and adding rule to the group. If you have any question on this, do comment in the comment section. I will help you out. So let's go back and we have on the last part, delegates. Delegate is basically you are delegating your work. You are, uh, let's say you are on vacation. Let's say Ravi is on vacation for let's say five days. On behalf of me, my work has to be done by someone else. Let's say I'm the manager and I have to approve some leave plans for my, uh, you can say, employees. Or for I have to approve someone's timesheet, someone's salary. But let's say I am self on vacation. So what I will do is I will do a delegate. I will set a delegate. And on my behalf, the member which I am allowing him to do it, he will receive all the notifications all the assignments, all the meeting invitation, all the approval part. So how to do that? Let's click on new. And over here, you will notice a delegate option is coming. So let's see. On my behalf, system admin will take care of my job. If I click here, when to start, let's say I'm going on vacation from tomorrow 21st and I will be back on 31st. So between these days, system admin will be receiving all the approval emails all the assignments, all the notifications, all the meeting invitations. So if I don't want him to see the assignment, I will uncheck this. I don't want him to see all notification, I will uncheck this and he will be only receiving invitations, meeting invitations and the approvals. If I submit it, you will notice a delegate is created. Refresh the page. I guess I need to open yeah. Open this. Come down. Yeah, delegate is added and this will end on 12 days from now. 
so obviously it includes Saturday Sunday as well. So that's all for today. We have created the user, we have added a role, and we have created a group as well as a delegate. In the next session, we will see how to create our own brand new table in ServiceNow. And table is very important, guys. That video might be long. So please watch that video till end so that you will get better insight for the tables. And if you trust me, ServiceNow are 90% tables. Everything in, in ServiceNow is tables only. So we'll we'll meet you back in the next session where we'll create our tables. We'll talk talk about tables. We'll create our own table. And we'll see how many tables are existing in ServiceNow. And how the license cost is also affecting the tables. So stay tuned. I will be bringing the video very